Hi guys, I hope every one of you are doing absolutely fine. This is Utkash and you are watching The Weekend Rider. So the today's topic I want to discuss is about how to prepare yourself for a long ride. Here the long ride, I'm not talking about the breakfast rides, I'm talking about rides which are more than 100 kilometers and you gotta go out for more than one day then it makes sense for you to watch this video so if you are one who is willing to make a long ride plan please watch this video i hope you will enjoy it and keep watching the weekend rider So in this video, I would separate the two things which is your personal requirements and your bike's requirements. You have to take care of your bike's requirements as well as well as your personal requirements too. So I will be discussing these two things separately for your better understanding. Talking about the personal requirements first, the first point that is very important is you sleep well. Before you start a ride, it is very imperative that you take proper rest so that you don't feel stressed and strained while you are doing rides. Because if you are doing rides like 500 kilometers, you will feel sleepy at the end of the day around 3 pm or so or after having lunch. So it is very important for you to take at least 8 hours of sleep before a ride that can keep you fresh all the day long and you don't feel exerted at all so have a good sleep guys at least for last two days keep a right sleeping pattern so that you don't feel lethargic doing the rides apart from sleeps also it is important to keep care of your exercise routine if you are a regular gym goer and uh, you regularly exercise that is going to help you a lot on long rides your core muscles are in action always while you are riding so it is very important for you to do regular exercises like lunges and push-ups, crunches and core muscle exercises so you always remain toned up and you have good muscle build to handle all the strain you get while riding for such long distances. So it is important to have good exercise routine on a regular basis. This is a long term uh, habit that you should make up while doing long rides. So and even before rides if you start doing it, it will help you to go that extra mile. So it is very important. After these two basic things that is very important, I would come towards the nutrition, the food that you want to eat while doing rides. It is important for you to not eat a lot of carbs and unnecessary food items because that can uh, make you feel very lazy. You have to be very uh, conscious about the food that you eat. Uh, you should not eat a lot of carbs like rice and a lot of rotis and chapatis. Try to eat less and try to eat that is more nutritious like dry fruit. You should also carry some of energy bars that you find in market which are good and healthy and not filled with a lot of sugars. You need glucose but you don't need that much so make a proper balance of diet you are having. Eat a lot of protein and eat kind of fats that you can have so it will help you uh, it will keep you full for a longer time and will not let you make more stops and you make less stops and this helps you on the long run and saves time after food the most important thing will be your medicines and first aid kit uh, first aid kits are very important and you should keep a variety of first aid equipments that you would need in case accidents happen so yeah my friend will be talking about this more in a call that i will be joining him with another personal requirements is the riding gears riding gears are very very important i think among all the personal requirements these are the most important requirements you should have and this is regarding your safety so safety is important you should always wear safety gears wear your riding pants uh, jackets wear a good quality helmet that actually protects you in unfortunate incidents so yeah these things are very important and many people don't wear gloves but gloves are actually the most important thing because uh, whenever you fall off the bike your hands are the first thing that come in contact with tarmac or wherever you are riding so gloves are also very important so just make sure you have all proper riding gears and boots boots are also very important always wear a boot and good quality shoe if you cannot uh, you know have a boot so yeah these things are very important so just don't bargain with that Another thing that is very obvious is keep hard cash with you. You don't know if you will find ATMs or not. So 
get cash with you okay okay now there are still a lot of things that you need to take care of your personal requirements and for that i'm joining with a friend of mine and we have done a lot of rides together and he would like to share a lot of things about your personal requirements and other bike requirements as well so let's hear from him what he has to say hmm hi hello uh, हेलो उत्कर्ष क्या हाल चाल बढ़िया बढ़िया आई एम रियली गुड आई फॉरगॉट टू इंट्रोड्यूस राजेश सो गाइस राजेश इज माय फ्रेंड एंड वी हैव बीन राइडिंग टुगेदर सिंस अ वेरी लॉन्ग टाइम एंड वी हैव डन राइड्स टुगेदर आई मीन द केरला जंगल सागर राइड वी डिड टुगेदर वी वेंट टू लॉट ऑफ प्लेसेस एंड आई ट्राई टू लाइक नो हिम रियली वेल सो या ही इज अ गुड राइडर ही आल्सो हैज हिज ओन YouTube चैनल यू कैन गो फॉलो हिम ऑन YouTube it's rkd travel log so i will put the link down in the description so you can check his channel as well so cool rajesh anything else you want to say what are you doing these days you went to kurk huh? <laughs> <laughs> thank you utkash for that uh, beautiful introduction to your viewers hopefully they would just uh, visit my channel as well and they <laughs> might like like it as well ha huh. that's uh, one part of it but otherwise the whole agenda of uh, today's and like just starting to ride or jo koi bhi you know they are planning to start and they want to prepare in a yeah. professional way i would rather say not like uh, this couple of things and go for a ride for a day or two but unke liye ye video bahut helpful hone wala hai mm-hmm. because we are going to discuss on those aspects ki what they need to prepare before the ride and during the ride as well exactly so, like i have learned a lot of things from you as well like uh, hydration and all i never used to follow such things i used to take a lot of stops and all but you taught me like okay keep electrolytes and also such kind of things are really helpful guys and this call is going to be very informative so just keep watching uh, so rajesh i have you know distributed the topic into two parts one is your okay. personal requirements and second one is your bike requirements so what you need for yourself to be okay. safe and fine and what your bike needs so as i have divided kiya hai so okay. yeah so talking about personal requirements i was talking about exercise sleep food diet and all uh, talking about food rajesh what kind of food would you prefer going on a ride like i know uh, carbs zyada nahi khana hai uh, so what kind of things you so for, people to eat for me for me i am kind of a foodie person okay so i generally uh, what i do is tend to like i eat less of a like dinner thoda sa light rakh ke mm-hmm. but i tend to explore the food availability like local food you go with the cheaper options as well second hai ki food jitna thoda sa oil agar avoid karo mm-hmm. to zyada better hai and not stuff yourself with lot of food yeah like uh, eat less of rice and all those things and Correct. more yeah. of like chicken fish and all uh, anything high yeah. in protein and that will keep you full for a longer you know like time. yeah yeah you can carry dry dry fruits protein bars and obviously exactly. a lot of water a lot of water avoid canned juices and all that you have something in your tummy which takes you for a longer time you don't have to take breaks okay uh, talking about um, power banks managing your gadgets hmm. you know right when kodai canal we had a hostel and there were like uh, only two cots so and exactly. we had like a power bank how did we manage all that so <laughs> that really is important you know you are used to having that phone charger already on the bike or many bikes are coming along with that so mm-hmm. that won't be a major problem but at the same time when you staying at the hotel you have lot of things like especially for bloggers like you and me for us we have gopro phone multiple phones because everyone has a primary and secondary phone uh-huh. and there, there are only two sockets available and cables right so for that i would suggest ki uh, buy a extension bank which has ha uh, power, power bank and extension is a must which is a part of in uh, you know, a smart packing yeah uh, extension power bank and i think lot of usb cables and type c whatever you will need because uh, sometimes you have only one usb cable and you need to charge three things out of that so mm-hmm. that's how guys if that you, is important that is a part of checklist yeah uh, that is a part of checklist ha correct correct exactly yes. hydration uh, this is what i have learned from your hydration uh, the most important part it was february it was not that hot But water. in Kerala, that state, you need to drink a lot of water. So, can you exactly. just share what we did in the ride? How we used to hydrate ourselves? And so, what happened? Like this, I have learned out of my experiences as well. I did take a lot of uh, um, ORS or electrolytes along with me. 
बट वॉट हैगेट लाइक मेरे को पहुंचना है टाइम पे यू हैव अ डेड लाइन बिकॉज राइडिंग एंड ट्रेवलिंग यू नीड टू फॉलो ए स्ट्रिक्ट डेड लाइन सो फॉर दैट रीजन समटाइम्स वी स्किप कभी कभी मील स्किप हो जाता है चाहे कभी कभी पानी पीना ठीक है आगे पी लेंगे करके वी आर स्टिल गोइंग फॉर स्ट्रेसिंग फॉर अनदर हंड्रेड किलोमीटर्स और फिफ्टी किलोमीटर्स वी आर स्ट्रेसिंग सो मच दैट वी लूज आउट लॉड ऑफ वाटर बॉडी से स्वेट होता है बिकॉज वी आर वेयरिंग हैवी गेयर्स सो यू टेंड टू लूज लॉड ऑफ वेट सो उसके लिए अपने आपको हाइड्रेशन खाना इज वेरी मच इम्पॉर्टेंट यू नो लाइक सो बेसिकली वॉट वी डेट इज लाइक वी टेक लॉड ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोलाइट we uh, kept drinking lot of water and electrolytes so it was definitely helpful and muscle cramps nahi aaye you we did not feel dizzy or mm-hmm. nausea aisa kuch kisi ko kuch feel nahi hua tha so that was mm-hmm. one good thing which i have learned uh, out of my experiences so guys always have uh, enough stock of ors electrolytes everything with you and keep water with you that is and like mm-hmm. and keep I, drinking water every one hour no matter what just keep drinking water people forget to drink water and the key priding is what i have seen rajesh and oh halat kharab ho jati hai unki to mm. i think that is a really good point talking about hydration i would like to even add there are like between hydration packs available in decathlon i saw that yeah it's really great so guys you can buy one hydration bag as well you don't have to stop every time you feel yeah. like you just sip it like it's on your backpack it's much easier yeah hydration is super important safety yeah. gears uh, rajesh uh, do you think safety gears See, safety gears are very important. I already told this. Uh, do you think safety gears will help you uh, not get strained on a long ride? Like, is that something which you would like to say about? If mm-hmm. you ask me, how important is safety gears? Definitely, it is very important. Everyone knows. But where does it fall in all like the things we are talking about? I think it is the topmost at level one. Anything could happen in a ride. Exactly. Right. Uh, not only because of your mistake, somebody else's mistake. So yeah. for that, uh, for that reason, safety jacket. pants boots gloves or that to full gauntlet uh, gloves are even more important like I mean, if you can spend ha yeah. if you can spend spend uh, on these before yeah. anything else that is one good thing safety is Ajish always says that okay you have gears you have riding pants riding jacket you have helmet as well but yeah. you have boots too people don't take boots seriously but yeah boots can save your uh, from injury so yeah that is important yes. exactly yeah. yeah first aid i was talking about first aid and what kind of first aid kits you keep in your box like i i keep basic thing band aids patti and antiseptic cream what else i have a lot of things in my first aid especially like if you are having headache dispren so tablets for headache loose motion running mm-hmm. nose and um, cough take cough syrups also and then uh, what else like constipation if you want to like you know that's yeah. in case because a lot of things changing right environment changing uh, terrain changing so you might yeah. face uh, like issues which you never face so for that reason you might have to keep all of these these uh, bandaid waterproof bandaids and mm-hmm. apart from that the square bandaid comes one big one that is also mm-hmm. required on one patti i don't know what uh, you call it in english uh, so <laughs> So also, uh, I would add one thing here. Sometimes uh, the bleeding happens and it doesn't stop. So uh, I would suggest keep elastic bands with you, so that if something like that unfortunately happens, you just tie it up in your hand or wherever you have got the impact. Uh, if anything, that will help you not lose a lot of blood in case unfortunately this happens. So this is one thing I wanted to share with uh, all these things. And yeah. for all the viewers also, this is very important. Like if you. happen to meet with an accident where it, blood loss is like you, you might you already feel right the wound is open and it is yeah. big that you might uh, lose lot of blood tie it up and go and see your doctor as soon as possible call ambulance now do not take chances on such kind of thing call ambulance and just visit a doctor yeah and you know some complications will occur there so just yeah. take medicines which you already use and that will use, be correct because your physician has prescribed those medicines so go with those medicines and ask your physician if there is need for any more medicines definitely because any medicine because which is going to your inside your body and that needs to be prescribed or suggested by your physician do not take any medicine without uh, suggestions from your physicians you know that is very important okay so i think uh, that was uh, about the personal requirements
yeah yeah okay guys that was all about the personal requirements now i will be talking about the bike requirements what all things is required for your bike so it's important to get your bike have all the checklists marked so you don't fall into any trouble while doing such rides the first and very important thing is get your bike serviced getting a bike serviced will make sure that you don't have any uh, issues on going with the bike uh, that can ruin your trip so just make sure you get your bike serviced uh even if the due date is not close even if 1000 or 2000 kilometers are left just go and get the bike service 1000 is safe i would say and you can go and get the bike service 2000 if your riding is like less than 2000 kilometers you can definitely go but get the bike checked well before you leave for your ride that will give you assurance that everything is fine on your bike and you won't find yourself in trouble doing such rides so yeah get your bike serviced talking about the rental bikes i i don't uh, you know uh, i won't suggest going for a rental bike because you don't know how the bike has been maintained so just try to avoid rental bikes but in case you have to take a rental bike just make sure you check everything before taking the delivery of the bike like clutch cable brakes and check the engine oil level you can just check it it's very easy so and ask the the one who is at the time of delivery whomsoever is there that uh, how the bike has performed and how much the, what is the condition and also he might be able to tell you though i won't suggest but that's all you can do and just uh, don't uh, do experiments with that bike it, it is like you have not ridden that bike so just be very careful with it Another thing is uh, lubing the chain. Chain lube is very very important before a ride, uh, and you should lube your chain every 750 kilometers. So I would suggest I use these two, the Vista Rust Clean, to just clean the chain, and then I use a motor spray to lube the chain. So yeah, just keep these handy when you go for rides, and uh, every 750 kilometers you might need them. And in rains, I think it is very useful to keep lubing the chain. So yeah. Clean the chain, leave the chain. That's that's like very important. Apart from that, I would suggest to keep a spark plug and a clutch cable always spare in your backpack. You don't know when in a ride your clutch cable will break or the spark plug stops working. So it's always important that you keep a spare spark plug and a clutch cable with you. And for Apache, it's quite inexpensive. You can always buy it and keep it. Doesn't matter. You might not get parts somewhere, sometimes somewhere. So always keep these two things with you. So yeah, just keep these two. Very useful. Also, guys, uh, in case you use something like this, a gym bag or a duffel bag to pack your things and mount it on your pillion seat, I would suggest you to go with these bungee cords and these are really strong and reliable bungee cords you can get it in decathlon i have been using it for almost all of my trips now since ever i have started and they're still in mint condition so yeah uh, you always uh, according to your bike you can just find the perfect bungee cords for you uh, for your bike and use it it's very easy to use and find some places where you can just you know uh, find a good place holders on your bike and just mount your bag cool guys so to know more about what kind of bike requirements are necessary let's see what rajesh has to say for the bike requirements what all things are needed is something also very important because if you don't take care of a bike and you're taking a bike somewhere and something happens unfortunately so uh, i already discussed about you know getting the vehicle service get it checked up if your service due date is not near like you can subscribe to this roadside assistance also so that oh, yeah. you don't have to struggle probably be somebody from the roadside assistance team they might come and uh, help you out with your bike yeah. or they might tow it tow, tow the bike to the service station and get it repaired so guys check with the brand and if they provide you roadside assistance do subscribe to it it can be handy when it comes to uh, breakdowns and something like that so just make sure you have subscriptions like that like tvs for mm -hmm. us we have our roadside assistant number where we just, uh -huh. yeah talking about luggages packing smart packing i my say on packing and luggages is that uh, okay, I, I don't have a tail bag. I don't have a saddle bag. I use a normal Domio's. Uh, this is what I use. Uh, I'll just show you. So this is a normal bag. It's a waterproof bag and it comes for like 600 bucks uh, if you buy it from Decathlon. So it's a good thing. Uh, so yeah, I use this and I mount it on the rear of my bike in the pillion seat and it goes fine, guys. Like uh, nothing there, but uh, Rajesh uses a tail bag. 
Uh, so would you like to share something how good a TL bag can be compared to such things? Or is it fine to just write with this kind of packing? This is also fine if you're going for a one or one to maybe three days or four days, right? That is fine. But what happens when you're riding for more number of days, then you have a lot of luggage. Probably if you're traveling to a remote location, you will have to carry your tent, stuff, food uh, preparation and all that. So when it comes to a longer number of days, a lot of stuff. For that, you need a bigger bag. So guys, if you don't want to spend that much, I think this kind of bag is also fun if you're going for a... But outdoor uh, rides for like not more than two to three days it can be fine uh, right just to add like how much luggage you need then de decide on what kind of bag you need yeah otherwise if you're try riding for a one day probably a backpack would, would also do how to assort your clothes uh, i think two pair of jeans and some high intensity workout clothes that are like kind of light synthetic materials like we get in decathlons and they are yeah. quite inexpensive and comfortable as well. Uh, do you take such kind of clothes or you take something else like cotton clothes as well? Let's see, I have a riding pant like you are, you have. So I don't carry two pair of jeans. I carry one pair of jeans mm -hmm. and multiple like four or five t-shirts. And okay. if uh, if you are riding in the colder region, probably you will need the uh, thermals and uh, hoodies and all that. Otherwise, yeah. you don't, uh, I don't carry anything much. Yeah. Puncture kit, Rajesh. Um, I don't have a puncture kit. Never had a situation where I need to fix my puncture. Uh, bike did really well in all the trips we had. So, yeah. Rajesh, you had issues with puncture, right? You had puncture when you but, went to Munnar. I am not sure. There was one situation in a one day trip where I had a puncture, but luckily I had puncture kit and a pump uh, hand, uh, handy. So, I managed it. So, puncture kit is also very important, especially if you have a tubeless uh, tire, you get like 300, 400 rupees punch it from Amazon or nearby punch a shop. You can yeah. keep it. And there is uh, another moderable, uh, this air pump it do get some which is uh, powered by electricity or you can ask any of the car passing by to stop and mm -hmm. help you with that. Or there is there's a cable you can connect it, it to car battery. By Grand Pit Stop, right? Like it is. There is, there is one. Uh, yeah, there is one from Grand Pit Stop also. I will find some good uh, pumps and I'll put the link down there into the description. Yeah. You can check it out. Cool. So I think we have covered pretty much everything about the personal requirements and the bike's requirements. Anything else that you would like to add, Rajesh? And one more very important plan your rides, wherein as soon as it is six or seven in the evening, just stay in the hotel and take rest. Don't right. ride uh, night rides. I don't prefer night rides. I told this like night rides are a big no. We don't uh, do night rides if somebody is stuck you you will not get help also during that time yeah night rides are big now exactly i think we have pretty much covered up with a lot of things rajesh thank you for coming on call and sharing your experience you you are more experienced than me so thought of you are the best person in my reach i thank can you. ask you questions yeah we'll talk soon bye bye sure. yeah bye 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 take care all the best bye bye I hope you guys liked the video that was Rajesh telling us about his experiences. If you have any other questions, just put it right in down uh, in the comment sections below. Always if you have any uh, suggestions, I am open to see all of them in the comment section. Do let me know and if you want me to make any video on a special topic, I am ready for that as well. So just let me know. If you like the video, share the video, like the video and share my channel and subscribe. And don't forget to press the bell icon so you never miss an update from my channel every time I upload a video. Have a nice day guys, stay safe.